Hi. Hello. My name is Tess. My name is Jenna. And for our project, we're going to be doing ice plant. Which is an invasive species. And it's very bad. Very bad. Yes, very bad. So it came in the 1900s to uh, stabilize railroad tracks, like thing, like the plant and soil near railroad tracks. And then ice plant, it peaks in the late spring, early summer. So that's, yeah. <laughs> so its scientific name is Carpobrotus edilis, which, which is ice, ice, ice plant. plant. Yeah, and it's found in North San Francisco. That's my fail drawing of California, the Channel Islands, and Mexico. Basically, just all in those little islands everywhere, you know. And the coast, you know. The coast. Yeah, mm -hmm. no one can tell because of the writing. So, 42% of endangered species are threatened because of ice plant, which is very bad, it's a big number. And also, ice plant grows two feet in three months. So, I tried drawing an example of it, but it's kind of a fail. And I don't know what Tess drew, but whatever. You're welcome. So, um, ice plant is made of green spears and this like purple flower. And the green spears are four to five inches. And the purple thing is two to six inches. So the cause is it can spread by animals. Like, see, that's my bunny, kind of bad, and my butterfly. Uh huh. So it picks up pollen by ice plant and delivers it to places. You get the point. So um, it ice plant kills seeds and native plants. So it just takes them over and kills them all. Um. So ice plant, it spreads uh, vegetatively and by seeds, which is very, makes it really easily spread. So ice plant, as you can see from my very bad image, um, can grow even though it's isolated from its parent plant. And you can see it's grown away from its mustache father and its mother right there, big lips. Uh huh. And um, it can grow in yards. That's supposed to be a fence. I'm so sorry. And that's the ice plant, the poofy stuff. And that's bad, so we'll take over all of your plants that live in your garden. So, ice plant competes endangered species for things like nutrients and water and space. So it kills it for all those things, you know, just invades <clears throat> and takes over. Kills it, just kills it right there and then. Just bam. So, ice plant decomposes slowly. And after years, maybe like 20 years, it will leave biomass, which is good, but it takes a very long time. So in this illustration, I'm drawing roots that- Slow much? Oh, just don't insult, okay. I'm gonna eat you. <laughs> okay, there's the ice plant with the spheres, and there are the flowers that I'm gonna draw in two seconds. There we go. <laughs> there are the flowers, and as you can see, those little dots are the biomass that it leaves and helps plants grow. Yay. I'm gonna eat you. So, ice plant increases soil salinity, which is salt in the soil, and that kills plants because plants can't grow in salt, so that's a dead plant. <clears throat> yeah, it, it died because there's too much salt. And native plants er, and animals will not benefit from ice plant. As you can see, this, ant, this bunny is dying, or is dead now, because it doesn't have its habitat or its food. As you can see, ice plant covered its hole and it can't sleep anymore. So almost nobody is doing anything about ice plant, so it's not helping in any way, and so it's getting worse. Yeah, it's definitely getting worse. And control is very difficult. As you can see, I'm drawing a large mat and mats are horrible because they're really hard to remove. And like I said, ice plant is easily spread, so it's really easy to develop mats. So this guy right here, it's showing that it's really hard to pull it off because he's sweating. He's pulling really hard. Yep. So it's hard. Sweat running down his face. And it, like I like I said, it grows really quickly and it produces large mats. And this is a really big mat. You're a very mm -hmm. good artist. Yes. So a solution to um, get out ice plant is to pull every single piece of root out, but it's really hard. Um, so there's a chemical called a herbicide called glycophosphate, and it kills ice plants, but it also kills the surrounding plants, so be very careful when you use it. So another solution is to stop selling ice plant because it's a pretty plant, so people won't know and they'll just buy it. 
and yeah so don't buy it either and early removal is key so basically if you see a little tiny ice plant the next week it will be a giant mat so remove it as fast as you can it will help the environment so why you should care about ice plant is because it kills the beauty of towns like for instance if you live in a beautiful town it's probably beautiful because you have different plants living there but if it's just ice plant it's just not as pretty you know it's ugly and it's gross ew right ew so it can kill in root gardens and i look like that looks like buildings, those look like a fence. And you have all your different kinds of plants, like your daisies and your other plants. And then all of a sudden, ice plant will come up and it will kill, it will just kill all the plants. Yep. And it's just everywhere. So You know, it's all on the coast. And in so Mexico. You should, help, and the, it's, you should just help everywhere you see. It's a local problem, so just help out, you know? And be aware. So, thank you for listening to our presentation. We hope you enjoyed us awareing you of this problem. So, spread the word and help us with this coastal problem. We yep. can solve it, you know? We'll save the environment from problems that kill the environment. Woo! So, help the environment. Well, people.